What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and we are just one month away from the release of the final fighter in Combat Pack 1 which means Combat Pack 2 is right around the corner. Now we always talk about what fighters we want to see added to this game but today I'm going to be talking about a few fighters that I don't want to see added to this game and a few of these fighters I don't ever want to see added to Mortal Kombat ever again. So this one probably will ruffle a few feathers but Let's get right into it. Run, run, boy. They coming now. Now, the beautiful thing about Mortal Kombat is somebody loves every character. So I'm not telling y'all this is a definitive list, but this is my definitive list. Give me your definitive list in the comment section, but I'm going to start with mine right now. And the first character I don't ever want to see back in a Mortal Kombat game is... Smoke. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I see the guy's value. I don't like him personally, but he can come back. He's fine. But the first real character I'm going to talk about is Meat. Meat is actually a character that could work in the Mortal Kombat universe based on what he is. But up until this moment, for me, he just has not. He's literally just the guy with no skin, some crackhead teeth, eyeball popped out, and some whitey tidy draws on. But can meat be fixed? There's the plot twist. We're going to be taking a look at every character's bio to see if they have any redeeming qualities. If so, we'll let them stay. If not, we got to cancel Christmas. This first bio comes from Mortal Kombat Wiki, and it says, Meat's storyline is... Meat's backstory in Armageddon, actually revealed during his in-game ending, stated that he was a horrific experiment created by Shang Tsung. Now that first off tells us that it is possible that we see Meat in Mortal Kombat 1 because we see the flesh pits, we see Shang Tsung's experiments all over the place, that big bloody ugly thing hanging in the background of the stage. Meat could be pulled right from that stage and introduced right into the Mortal Kombat universe. But for right now, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. It says he escaped the sorcerer's clutches before he could be fully completed. The official strategy guide for the game describes Meat as being a fun character who assists Shinnok. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. That's a name I don't think we need to get to right now, but we definitely probably will be talking about it later. Although this relationship is not made clear in the story. Now, we really don't know too much about Meat. What we do know is his name is Crazy. And I think the only other piece of story we really have for him is the Armageddon ending. And in that, he came out on top, which we know didn't happen. So you can pretty much throw that out the window. And along with that, unless they give us some type of elaborate story from Meat, where he's a man who was doing some stuff for his family. Shang Tsung kidnapped him, ripped his skin off, injected him with all kind of stuff. Now he has special powers. I think we can cancel Christmas on Meat as well. They got to give us something to give us some type of connection to make me care about this character. Otherwise... He's just going to remain a joke. So I say we cancel Christmas on meat. Now, don't get me wrong. I love meat. I'm in a Brazilian steakhouse all day, but I don't need it in my Mortal Kombat game. So yeah, we'll cancel Christmas on them. Now, the rest of these bios come directly from Mortal Kombat Secrets. And the next character we're going to look at is a character that I know a lot of people are a fan of, but he just seemed like a character with a poor design to me. And I never really got into him, but... The bio is pretty interesting. So do we keep Draman or should we cancel Christmas on him? Let's see. The Oni Tormentor Draman resided in the fifth plane of the Netherrealm for centuries. It was therefore no surprise to Moloch that Draman would so readily accept Quan Chi's offer of freedom from that realm in return for protection from the Ninja Spectre Scorpion. So there's the beginning of Draman's origins. He was pretty much in hell for centuries, tormenting everybody. Quan Chi saw what he was doing and said, listen, bro, I'll get you up out of here if you protect me from Scorpion. Draman said, okay, if that's what we're doing, let's do it. Let's see what happens next. Draman and Moloch savagely brutalized Scorpion whenever he made a move for Quan Chi. It would not be long before they would be released upon the world of the living and taste mortal flesh once again. Draman had led Quan Chi to a structure that housed the remnants of ancient tablets and rune stones dating back to the creation of the realms. Quan Chi's eye was caught by a tablet with an image that bore a striking resemblance to his amulet. The engraved writing revealed the amulet's hidden power to control inter-realm portals. 
Turtles. Breaking his promise, Quan Chi betrayed Moloch and Draman and used the amulet to escape the Nether Realm without them. Unknown to Quan Chi, however, the two Oni also escaped and are now thirsty for revenge. So this is a lot like the Quan Chi we actually have in Mortal Kombat 1 because in Ermac's tower ending, he went to the jail to save Quan Chi and immediately after Ermac got him out, Quan Chi turned on him. So I think it's interesting and we really haven't seen too much of the power Quan Chi has in Mortal Kombat 1 yet. So I'm hoping in these following games we see how nasty he can get and uh, they make him a lot stronger because right now I just feel like he's a dude who does magic. So we'll see. But Draman, I think he has potential. His partner here in Moloch, spoiler alert, we'll be talking about him later as well, but I think Draman has potential, so I'm actually not going to cancel Christmas on him. I'm going to save Draman. I think he has potential in the Mortal Kombat universe, but I want to see him go from a man to the Nether Realm and then escape the Nether Realm and come back to Earth as he is now. He definitely needs a new design because I don't like how he looks right now. I think his mask is kind of clownish. There might be some type of meaning or lore behind it, but I don't like it. I don't like the thing on his arm either, but it is a big part of his character, so I wouldn't be too mad if they kept it. I just want to see him start off as a man and kind of decay into what we see as him becoming this demon. So, Draman, a guy with potential, I'm not going to cancel Christmas on him. Draman made it through. But our next character might not be so lucky. Now, I clipped the bio, but I haven't read it since I played Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, so I don't remember what's going on with this character. He can be saved. But it's going to take a miracle because our next character is mocap let's see what mocap is a former martial arts teacher on the north side of chicago the man commonly referred to as mocap was called upon by johnny cage to do some motion capture work for his new movie mortal kombat now this is something we see in mortal kombat 1 johnny cage actually did become a successful director so I don't know. Unfortunately, that brings the possibility of mocap coming back. Mocap was flown into Hollywood to begin his first session, which consisted mainly of crane and snake fighting styles. Although many other martial artists were used, mocap was brought in repeatedly for his vast knowledge of fighting techniques. <laughs> He's a fighter. Go to the UFC, bro. We don't need you in Mortal Kombat. This is a bad character. This is a bad bio. Cancel Christmas on this young man. We don't ever, 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 ever need to see him in Mortal Kombat again. Not as a joke cameo. Maybe a story cameo. Johnny Cage is shooting his movie. Shang Tsung invades Earthrealm and kills somebody on the set. That somebody can be mocap. I think that's the only way we need to see him back in the Mortal Kombat universe. That's it. Now, mocap is a bad character i think meat is a bad character but i look at them as jokes so i'm not too hard on them but this next guy i think he's supposed to be a serious mortal kombat character and to me this may be the worst mortal kombat character of all time and that guy is diary he's so bad i didn't even clean up his render you know what we can pull up his bio here but we're not going to read it why because he's now havoc they have merged this guy into Havoc, and I think that was a great move because now that means Dairu is gone, and we will never see him again. And some people will be like, well, why do you hate Dairu? And to be honest with you, I just don't like how he looks. You think about cool characters like the ninjas, Scorpion, Sub-Zero. You think about how cool Raiden looks, especially in Mortal Kombat Deception. That second outfit, banger. You think about even new characters like Havoc. These guys have great designs, and then you got guys like Dairu and Darius and Hotaru. Cancel Christmas on all of them. But we are almost 10 minutes into this video, and I got six characters left, so it looks like we can have a part two. So if y'all want to see part two, let me know in the comment section, but we will go ahead and knock down one more character that I never need to see in Mortal Kombat again. And that guy is <laughs> Jarek. The Kano clone. We don't want to put Kano in this game, so let's put a different character in here that's not as cool as Kano, but plays just like him. What are we doing? Let's see if there's any way we could redeem Jarek because I have not read this bio yet. 
Believed to be the last member of Kano's clan, the Black Dragon, Jarek is hunted down by Special Forces agent Sonya Blade for crimes against humanity. With the emergence of a much greater evil, Sonya focuses her strength on the new menacing Quan Chi. Jarek now finds himself fighting alongside Sonya and Earth's warriors to help defeat the evil elder god, Shinnok. This is all bad. I do not want Sonya back in Special Forces, which is probably going to happen. And I don't ever want to see another name they mentioned in here again. Ever, ever, ever again. Because this guy ruins every Mortal Kombat game. We will talk about this guy if you guys want to see part two. Just let me know in the comment section. But help me out by dropping a like on this video. Smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to give me five characters you never want to see in Mortal Kombat again in the comment section. But make sure you save five for the next video. Boom.